sniper's one bush you can get up and my attack. And if you want to go for your theater, I'm saying you that we don't want to injure you. Police is your friend. Yamba ko soke na nchaka yambe ko lasa msiri no. Soke na kamri no. It is not cooperating. Soke na ni mafana. Yamba ni ko lasa msiri no. Azacho. Catch Amazing Minds Mondays and Fridays 22 hours Central African time on YouTube and Spotify for podcasters. Amazing Minds, Zambia's first late night show. what's going on guys i know you missed us <laughs> we miss you too and we're back as promised after four weeks of uh lord shedding i guess we're back can you hear that beep apparently every alternative power source comes with some kind of a beep alarm or i don't know they all make noise <laughs> i'm here with mr chofai how are you doing sir Sensei, I'm good. You're good? Yeah. That's good. That's good. So we're back. Uh, Amazing Minds is here to deliver to you what everyone else has failed to deliver to you. Mm -hmm. uh, since every podcast is here to talk about relationships and cheating, <laughs> we're here to tell you serious stuff, what is really going on. And <laughs> we hope you subscribed. Please do subscribe, hit the bell and share. The show is available Mondays and Fridays, 22 hours Central African time. Monday is the political segment of the show dubbed the monday show and friday is the spiritual segment of the show dubbed bible talks so we are so glad to have you here and we're so glad to be here to be had yes please do subscribe hit the bell and share we have a couple of things uh, to discuss today primarily just to welcome you guys back we miss all of you mr bruce mr nsandula um uh, what, what what are the names have i have I have I forgotten to mention Madame Lombe Sampa? Uh, uh, Madame, L <laughs> Madame Lombe Sampa. Um, everyone, we are so grateful for everyone that has been a part of this, and we are hoping to grow the family going forward. How have you been? I've been all right, man. Uh, uh, not so fine, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I went through some tribulations. Ah. Uh. Yeah, a few trials and tribulations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, but I'm fine. I'm fit. You fit, yeah, eh? My body's fit. Uh, my mental well-being. Yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> I know you are strong. You are a tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and yourself? How have you been? I've been good, man. It's been a an interesting period. A time of serious adjustments in terms of life, mm -hmm. generally in Zambia. Yeah. Uh, not everything is the way it was, but. It's okay. I don't have too much to complain about. Yeah. But uh, the other thing is that we are, yeah. Yeah, God. Yeah. The other thing is that we <clears throat> we do have hope. Yes. With the power situation. Yes. Yeah, yes. And uh, Zesco has been giving us hope under those things. I was also down with the flu. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it's just a flu. Oh, we should have made some ginger tea before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's, it's not really only about load shedding. I think uh, different aspects of life have of course it's all coming from there but mm. everything has just kind of begun to yeah. change yeah. 
Yes. Generally, I also think people are sad all over. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you we are we point. are here to bring you joy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you could have a point because yeah, people are just everywhere you go. People are complaining. I don't remember sitting with someone and uh, like a stranger. And then they, they say good things or like, ah, life ain't the same Speaking positively. <laughs> yeah, everyone is just like, ah, yeah, of course. Mm, yeah, course. <laughs> no, there's, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Things definitely look hopeful. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite hopeful, especially for next year. Mm. I'm very hopeful. Okay. We're well, looking forward to the US elections. Yes, just a couple of days, eh? Just uh, tomorrow, actually. Oh, it's... Uh, tomorrow is, uh, yeah, tomorrow actually. I'm excited, fingers crossed. I don't know what to expect. Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks like a very tight race. But let's I see. I don't think so. You don't think so? I think, anyway, we yeah. never know because, you it, know. It, it also depends, I guess, where we've been looking. Uh, what I've noticed with American media mm -hmm. is <laughs> when you watch these guys, mm -hmm. they'll tell you this side is doing yeah. better. When you yeah. watch this, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think this is why people, this is why it looks like it's uh, the race is uh, even right now because of uh, the legacy media. Yes. So these yes. ones will tell you this one is uh, is up. This one tell these ones will tell you this one is up. So it almost looks like it's fifty fifty. I don't think so. I, th I think Trump is winning. You think Trump is winning? Yeah. Okay. Kamala does look also like she has a a hold in some certain areas. Yeah, that's true. And uh, I wish I wish she won actually. <laughs> You wish you won. Yeah. <laughs> I remember us having a, a conversation on this about a month ago. Yeah, over time I've changed my mind because at first I was really for Donald Trump. Mm. Yeah, but uh, after they removed Joe Biden, I kind of changed my mind. But you see, the, the, the other thing is that these politicians, they're just, politics are just, has just gone to, to the dogs. To the dogs. So. But politicians at the end of the day are almost all the same. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. E even here in Africa, we're witnessing the same thing. Yeah. We so it, thought, yeah. Exactly. So it's not like I really like Kamala Harris, but uh, I hope she could win. You hope so, eh? I hoped. You hoped. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like you've lost hope now. No, I can't <laughs> bury my head in the sand when the information is... is yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, anyway, we, we are hopeful. Let's see what happens. I think if Trump wins, at least on the economic aspect, mm. things might begin to look up um, and it has a trickle-down effect. So we are hoping. Uh, I, I don't know, but anyway, it will be interesting to see. It will be interesting yeah. to see. You heard of Project 2025? I have. I have. Yeah. I've, heard, I've heard of it. Such things will be interesting <laughs> to see. Uh, he has distanced himself from that, so I, I don't know. Maybe it's just politics. But yeah, It's easy for him to distance himself. Yeah. It's politics, as yeah. you see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so a couple of interesting things have been happening, especially while we were away. For starters, Dr. Nevas Mumba uh, has promised that he's not going to stand for elections in 2026. I don't know. Do you think it's uh, formalities for certain parties to stand for elections? I mean, if Sean Tembo is standing for elections. Mm, I hear you. Uh, I, yeah. Excuse me, I get your question. So <laughs> I also wonder, actually. Yeah. Like, But you see, the other thing is that there are a lot of uh, interest involved. So mm. some people stand not because they think they would win, but because they want to get some funding from somewhere. Yeah. 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 Uh, and all those things. Some people do that because they want to gain more popularity mm. because they are preparing to 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 like be bigger competition in in, in the next areas. 15 years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So mm, what was the question again? Yeah, anyway, you've answered it, but I was asking whether okay. you think some people stand for formality's sake. Mm -hmm. And I think, as you have put it, I think so too. There's probably issues of funding, there's issues of this, sometimes just di split votes. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like mm -hmm. uh, if we allow these two guys to stand alone, mm -hmm. <laughs> this one will win by such a great margin. Yeah. So let's try to. Yeah. I think probably they're even in league with one of the bigger parties. Like, yeah. One of the bigger parties, maybe, mm. can. This is all alleged. By the way, everything we discuss on the show is for entertainment purposes only. Yeah. Uh, Look I at think that. Uh, bigger parties probably hire smaller parties. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah. That happens. Yes. I think even in Zambia. So, so now, not only has Dr. Mumba told us that he's not standing, he has also told us that he and the MMD are endorsing uh, Haka Indi Hichilema, 
the UPND way before election campaigns have been started. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting part. Yeah. Yeah, but to me, I think uh, it's just, uh, he's just coming out, you know. Hmm. I think... Uh, I mean, who, long... who else is there to endorse, honestly? <laughs> like, who will even stand? <laughs> yeah, for a very long time, I've known uh, that Nevers Mumba has always been siding with the UPND. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's from, been it's been quite obvious. Yeah, the way he comes out, yeah, he tries to be as diplomatic as possible. But uh, I mean, to me, it was it was very clear. Him and Mr. Shambala Moyo. Mr. Shambala Moyo. Ah, but that one now is just turned into a full fledged. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they they all start slowly. Like uh, uh, <laughs> no, I I think he's doing a good job. Then they'll be like, uh, he is doing a good job. Then they'll be, he's changing your lives. Then, then they'll, they'll be, be like, like he'll be president forever. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the six. <laughs> yeah. So to me, Nevers Mumba is just uh, I'm coming out. Yeah, I coming out of the political know. closet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about political LGBT. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Dr. Nevers Mumba has assured us that he's not standing, and not only is he not standing, but he's also in full support of the UPND. And that's interesting to see. Honestly speaking, I don't even know what competition the president has. I saw a funny video. We'll not show it to you guys because we don't to ready, to re- readily. Uh, yeah, okay, let's not get into that. <laughs> Let me not wake wake up sleeping dogs. <laughs> <laughs> let sleeping dogs die. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, interestingly, also in more recent times, just before we came, um, Mr. Bowman, I must say Dr. Bowman, Mr. Bowman Lusambo has been fished out <laughs> by the police. <laughs> um, honestly speaking, before I even get into this, I am not one to celebrate the downfall of people even though I am in full support of justice being served, if Mr. Bowman is being accused of something and he has been found guilty, then I think justice should be served. But of course I will not celebrate what's going. I know he's in pressure. It's not easy for a grown man to hide in the ceiling with Esther and Edgar in the house crying. Uh, Those are the names of his kids, right? The twins, yeah. Yeah, so. I think he's got more kids. Yeah, he probably does have more kids just to throw in a bit of humor there um yeah so the police say that they fished him out of his house uh from the ceiling what do you think about all this that's going on with mr Sambo? Mm. Uh, first of all the the fact that he was hiding in the ceiling of course we get we we got that from the police mm. but we had uh, someone who was claiming to be an eyewitness uh, yeah tiza mkuka. Mkuka, rather, yeah, yeah. Yeah, apparently he was not in the city. So, <laughs> yeah, so we don't know for real, but... Uh, that eyewitness we... testimony, yeah. anyway, I can't say much about it, but I don't know the, the how to take the validity of that eyewitness okay. testimony. Yeah, yeah, it's important, yes. but also it's important to mention that there was that... Uh, yes, yes, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, but of course what the police say is uh, what the majority people go out with. Yeah. Yeah, so what I think about it, well... It, it 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 tells me something first of all that uh, it's important to be humble, mm. especially when you are in position of uh, influence of power or power. Mm. Yeah, because uh, ultimately life will humble you at some point. I don't know if you saw ECL uh, recently calling a policeman your bossy. Or yeah, I saw. <laughs> <bossy." laughs> <laughs> You're a bossy way. Bossy way. Why are you doing me like you My man. Hey, Commander, send guys to fight. Anyway, your commander is sitting there and they need to come here. Oh my goodness. Commander. Oh my goodness. Commander. Oh my god. That was that was terrible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you know, you can imagine Edgar Lungu is uh, someone who would just do this. Mm. And the policeman will come. Yeah. He doesn't even have to say a word. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, today look at him. So yeah. it's important to be humble while you are there. Boman Lusambo was untouchable. Boman Lusambo used to go around slapping people. Yeah. yeah. At, uh, there was that one where he went, he fish, the fan cap sang him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sana. Karen is he. Come to transfer. Yeah. So this was a very powerful individual. Yeah. Uh, to see him now, uh, because also how did he fit in the ceiling? It means why you want to know you want. 
Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean it's, yeah, it's, impo- it's important to be humble in life. And uh, you see such things just uh, continue teaching us that. Mm. Yeah, I mm. hope that uh, we can learn lessons from this. Yeah, but also you see <laughs> to a great extent I'm happy that it's happening to him. Yeah? Yeah, because we need to people need to know in our country that uh, this country belongs to Zambia. Yeah, that regardless of what position you hold you can yes. still and and Interestingly, also uh, GBM, Mr. Geoffrey Bualia Mwamba. I don't want to make the mistake that one newscaster made mm-hmm. swapping the names. <laughs> Putting the B. Uh, the, 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 the B on the M and the M on the B. Ah, <laughs> uh, jo- Geoffrey. Mwamba, what? Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> You get it? Eh? <laughs> yeah, someone made that mistake. So yeah, <laughs> Mr. GBM has also been uh, jailed, which is uh, news. We didn't expect that. I mean, with the level of influence he had politically, uh, the positions he's had government-wise, we're talking about the level of money we have heard he has. We thought at least that money will be able to keep you out of prison. Yeah, but in a I country didn't like, expect that yeah. myself. You did? Yeah. You see, mm. the thing is that uh, these people don't like GBM. I doubt if you if you stay in prison for that long. You think you come out, eh? Yeah, because the thing is that they will appeal, which uh, I don't know if probably they is. Is there done. like a a what you call the oh, this guy, mm. uh, Mister Chimba Kambuidi, came out on bail, right? Yes, he was given a, an amount to pay. G- GBM wasn't given anything like that. So there's uh, so that's where GBM GBM will go as well yeah. because Chimba Kambuidi is out. That's bail pending appeal. Okay, exactly. okay, yeah. okay. That, so okay, we'll see okay. that with GBM as well. That's what <laughs> these guys do. Yeah, Prophet um, Chofi Amnyanim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it does make sense actually. Now that you mentioned that, uh-huh. I did not think of it that way. That actually there is the, they'll give him maybe like, like one month. Yeah, yeah. yeah Very just... soon we'll come back here and report. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can tell you that. Okay, so it's important that you've mentioned that there's GBM and then there's him. Yes. Who will be sentenced soon actually. Yes, and I don't know. I was hearing something like five years. I don't know whether that's like a an expectation. Yeah, maybe that's like the maximum sentence for the offense. Okay, because for wounding, assault, right? Wounding. I, I, I yeah, think they said unlawful wound, wounding. Unlawful wounding. They said yeah. assault. There was no evidence. I don't get it though. Mm. Was he the one handling the actual machete? Uh, it's possible. So the, the 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 story is that Mr. Mr. Lusambo wounded two individuals of the NDC party. That's NDC, right? Mm. Uh, National Democratic um, Alliance (NDA). Mm. Is it NDC or NDA? National Democratic uh, Congress. Aha, uh-huh, na- National Demo- Democratic Congress. Sorry about that. Uh, he wounded two members of the party during the by-election in Kabushi when there was a by-election, uh, basically, and there were machets flying around, and it's supposed that he also uh, was pointed as the one to have wounded a certain individual or two individuals. So this... Uh, this matter, when the when the time for a judgment came, he was absent in court. So they gave a bench warrant to find him wherever he would be. The police went to his house. According to different testimonies, the police say they found him in the ceiling. Mr. Tizam Kuka says uh, he was in his office. But basically, the police went to his house and they found their way into the house and extracted him. Yes, I like how Diamond TV put up that. <laughs> uh, yeah, that uh, illustrative picture of him uh, coming from the ceiling. Yeah, so that's uh, quite interesting what's happening right now. Um, last I heard Mr. Lusambo on the phone with Diamond TV, he sounded very humble. He was actually, I didn't know there were actually court cases going on. Maybe that's why he was sounding very humble. I don't know if you heard that interview. He was no, quite was he was quite humble. No, when you're in power, always remember that that time will end. Even me, I didn't know it will end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> this is typical of uh, people like Bowman Lissambo. Excuse me. Mm. Yeah, it's typical of people like, like Bowman Lissambo, you know? Mm. Yeah, that's how they behave. Don't expect that this person... In fact, if this one can get back into office, mm. ah, he'll be even wounded. He, he'll, yes, he'll be worse than, yeah. now he'll even know how to safeguard himself. Yes. He'll at least hire the fourth person to uh-huh. handle the machete <laughs> so that there are four people in between. 
<laughs> not like he's not always been hiring fourth people to do that. Oh yeah, yeah. Not not that he hasn't been doing it. Ah, uh, but he'll make sure this time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It can be traced back to him. Um, yeah. on the international uh, scale of things, Botswana had elections, and the ruling party that had been in power for fifty-eight years has finally been kicked out by an umbrella party. Um. Voters in Botswana have rejected the country's long-serving government governing party in a result that marks a political earthquake in the diamond-rich Southern African country or nation. The Botswana Democratic Party, DBP, in power since independence in 1966, has won only one parliamentary seat as of early Friday morning. It looks set to be replaced by the umbrella for democratic change. UDC President Mogwitsi. Masisi has accepted defeat, saying it was clear BDP party has lost massively. This was him conceding defeat even before the final announcement was made. Uh, interesting stuff. Yeah, yeah, interesting stuff indeed. And uh, uh, we've not heard a lot about uh, Botswana politics, but then it's great that we are having this independence party being kicked out. Mm. Yeah, uh, we've had an independence party in uh, Zimbabwe. Mm. Which is still there, the Zanu PF. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think in two other African countries where well, we still have independence parties. Mm. Yeah, which I I don't really fancy, you know. I know all these yeah. years. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. But also something also to to note is that Mokwetsi Masisi has been there for one term. He's a one term president. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. But I also like the way that he's handled the thing. The way that peaceful uh, transition, yeah, yeah, he, there's a very peaceful transition. He's been speaking about it a lot, okay, yeah, like he's always been nodding press briefings to say, I oh, know this is going to be happening peacefully. Uh, you people should support the, the incoming president mm. and all those things. And also, he made a phone call, okay, yeah, that uh, we can actually uh, show to the people, okay, yeah, check it out. Gideon, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, and I've arrived. I'm about to start the press conference. I want to congratulate you and wish you the best. I'm going to concede to having lost the election through a democratic process that we've always subscribed to. And thank Botswana for the very peaceful manner in which they conducted this election. Thank all parties that participated, including my own and uh, members. And uh, I will let them know that from tomorrow or at your convenience, if you want to do it on Monday, you can do it. I'll start the process of uh, handover. And uh, you can uh, count on me to always be there to provide whatever information uh, uh, and uh, whatever guidance you might uh, want. Uh, I will serve this republic uh, loyally. We will retreat to being a loyal opposition and, um, and work uh, with you for the betterment of our country. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Right. Thank you very much. Good race. Thank you. Good race. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. So that is interesting, you know. It shows that uh, <laughs> in some African countries, you've got uh, mature politics. Civilized, yeah. That's yeah. that's quite a civilized. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I like it that he's also been given one team, just like George Ware. Mm. Remember George Ware? I remember the name George Ware. Yeah. George, yeah. George Ware also became a president of Liberia. Just for one term. Eh? Yes, he was kicked out for one term. <laughs> <laughs> we have a few, very few one term presidents in Africa. Yeah, very few. Yeah, yeah. Joe Biden has been given one term. Yeah, uh, tr Trump also, also was a one term president. Yeah, Trump was a one term yeah, president. Of yeah. course, Joe Biden, there are other things that came in. Yes, up. yes, yes. Uh, so uh, I hope that that can happen also somewhere in, in Central Africa. In the Central African Central region. Part, yeah, 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 even though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that could happen because that would uh, that would send a clear message. It, it would work. Yeah, it, because people would be like, oh, OK, so I have to take this job seriously. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Because, yeah. you know, like in Zambia, you've always been having this thing of uh, Zambians will give a political party 10 years. Mm -hmm. You have mm -hmm. 10 years. So mm. when they are planning, they plan for 10 years. They plan for 10 years. When they shouldn't do that because they are mandated. Okay, of course you can plan for 10 years because you're a good leader. Yeah. But you shouldn't think that you've been in power for 10 years. Yes, yeah. automatically. Yeah, you being in power should end at five years. Yeah. Yeah. The planning for 10 years <laughs> should be the prudence and everything. Speaking of planning for 10 years um, and proper governance, Zesco has finally mm. increased from three hours of power per day to five hours of power per day. We are still a phenomena in the world uh, to now be having 19 hours of load shedding. Uh, before we had 21 hours, now we have 19 hours of load shedding. 
the level of productivity in the country has taken a dip. Mm. It's like the country lives on a mountain and then productivity lives at the bottom of the mountain. Okay, we're not going to say that, we're talking about the nation generally, even though there are individuals in the country that are thriving, but yeah, that's what has happened really. And it's... Yeah, but you see, we can't run away from the fact that yes, productivity has taken a nose dive. It has, it has taken a very serious nose dive. Even the quality of people's lives generally has changed. People are being forced now to live on a day-to-day basis. People yeah, can't have fridges exactly. anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's it's crazy. Yeah, but uh, five hours is a good start. We hope mm. that uh, we're going to get better. We, we, we yeah. sure, we sure yeah, hope I'm, so. I'm hopeful because also of the rainy season. I'm hopeful that we'll have a very serious rainy season. Yeah, because two rains, five hours. Ah, <laughs> Give us three more weeks of the rain. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be back. Yeah. yeah. So um, this has been a very good introduction to... We'll come you guys back to the show. We are not here for long. We are just here to let you guys know that we're back. Expect us Friday. We'll be here for Bible Talks. And Monday next week, we resume with the Monday show, giving you bar for bar. Yeah, Monday will be fire. <laughs> Monday, will week, be fire. Monday will be fire. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So we are so glad. Please do subscribe. Tell your friend to tell their friend that we're back. And we will see you on Friday with Bible Talks. Ciao. Hey, like what you see? I know you do. Hit the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao.